Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is the 1st of May which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. The first set of cards this month is sponsored by the letters I and the number tw Oh no wait, that's Sesame Street. But the first set of cards this month does feature one of your favorites from PBS. I hope you'll stick around see the first set I made this month and find out how you can download the printable for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I hope you're as excited as I am about the newest sheet load of cards, May 2021. This month is another special edition, and we'll talk about that here in just a little bit, but I wanted to give you a heads up on the special stamps that I'll be using for this first set of cards. I know that many of you a few months ago saw that I was gifted some Hamilton themed stamps from Toby of Biddy Penny. And when I shared that video where I opened it and almost cried, the owner of Ink Road Stamps, who makes those Hamilton stamps, contacted me to see if I would like to try some other sets. Well, I was super excited and I picked out some good ones and I received them about a month ago. And today, I wanted to showcase one of those sets that I received, and guess what? On May 3rd, I'm gonna be back to show you all of the stamp sets that I received, and there is a huge giveaway. Laura from Ink Road Stamps is so generous, and this will be, I believe, my single biggest giveaway on my channel ever. So make sure to stop back by, click subscribe, click those notifications if you're not already. For my first set of cards, I used the Ink Road Stamps Neighbor Set, which is a Mr. Rogers themed stamp set. You might have already noticed the cute little cardigan here, but the sentiments are fantastic. Now with the layout of my sketch this month, I couldn't use all of them because of the width, but I know that I will definitely be using these in the future. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this month's printable. Just like every other month, this is a free two page printable that as long as you're subscribed to my channel, you can download it. The first page includes the sketch, the supply list, individual dimensions, as well as some alternative ideas. The second page, I always give you the cutting guides for all of the cardstock and pattern paper. You might have noticed on the top here, this is a special edition. This month, we're gonna be using our six by six paper pads. Now, if you don't have any six by six paper pads, no worries, you probably have eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12, so you can just cut those down to get started. Another thing on the printables each month are the hashtags at the top. I would love for you to use those if you share a video here on YouTube or a post on Instagram. And if you're not on either of those platforms, but you want to show us your sheet load, you could also mail in a card for the end of the month video. I will have the video with all of the show us your sheet load details linked in the description box below. I just love to see the cards that you're creating. The sketch this month is a standard A2 card. I do have all of the pattern papers and card stocks labeled down here. But as always, if you like the layout, but you don't wanna make this month's six cards, I give you the individual dimensions so you can go ahead and create one. To yield those six cards, you'll need two six by six pattern papers. You'll need four solid colored card stocks to be your mats and three more to cut and fold in half for your card bases. If you're gonna get started on your first set today, make sure to take note of these two asterisks here, but I will be back tomorrow to share with you some more details and to show you how you can put these together. 
Also, on the bottom of the first page, I have given you some alternatives, different ways you can use the sketch or ways to adjust it. And my first set for the month, I actually did adjust the sentiment square. My sentiments were a little bit wider than the two inches that it calls for, so I adjusted that to fit my needs. That is a great thing about sheet load. This is a nice jumping off point for you to you take it and make it your own. The second page is always the cutting guides. So I show you how to cut both of those six by six sheets and your card stocks. Now this sketch this month was a little bit unique. I knew that I wanted to use six by six paper. And the first thing I did was actually make the cutting guide. I wanted to cut this into three three by three squares and then cut what was left into three pieces as well. So once I had those, then I designed the card sketch. It's just a little bit different and I wanted to let you know about that. Let's go ahead and look at the main supplies I use for my cards. These are the main supplies that I use for the first set of cards that you'll see here in just a couple minutes. For my pattern papers, I chose two from the Cartabella 6x6 Home Again paper pad. This paper pad was a recent gift from subscriber Karen C and I couldn't wait to use it. I thought these cards I would give a more masculine feel, so I chose the two papers here and I chose some darker card stocks to go with those, more of kind of earth tones. Again, for the stamp sets, I'll be using Neighbor from the Ink Road stamps. There were a few other things I used, of course, to make the cards, and tomorrow in that process video, you'll get more details. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first set, and then I'll tell you how you can download the printable this month. Don't forget tomorrow I'll be back to show you how I made the first set and now I'll let you know how you can download the file for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. We do just go on the honor system here so if you're going to click download or print please make sure that you have already clicked on that subscribe button below. You are going to find this month's download link right above my PO address in the description box below. It will say something about a password, but you do not need one. Your password is watching the video to find out where that download link is. And don't forget that tomorrow, all of my collaborators will be joining me and sharing their first set of the month. Until my next video, which is that process video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.